y'all it's Shannon from Creative Chaos in Tennessee and today I am back with another Scraps to Embellishments video. This week's theme is Harvest Time. So buckets, barrels, baskets, crates, wagons, anything, any pretty much kind of container um, filled with harvest items. So I mixed a bunch of different sets. Um, I have this one that I used the basket from it. I have this one that I used, let's see if I can get it up, the barrel from it. And this one I used for the pumpkins and some of the leaves. This one is a set I did for the, um, what was this one? Maybe I didn't. I used this for something. Um, but it has mushrooms and all that stuff. And this is just leaves. I use some of the different leaves in here. And um, if you've watched my metal uh, dye video on organization, you'll know that I separated all, most, not all, but most of my leaves and my flowers and then I put them all together. That way, if I need leaves, I can just grab my leaves and cut whatever I want from it versus having to flip through all my different flowers with the leaves and all that because a lot of these are basics anyways that I've got from like Timu and stuff and they don't really go per se to a set it's just like leaves like this one is a whole set from um, Timu that has the little um, embossing in them and so I can just pull those out and use them for anything I could use them for any to go on any flower any layout same thing with all of these these are just kind of I call them weeds but <laughs> fillers pretty much um, berries things like that a lot of that stuff doesn't go with anything else so I just keep them all together so um, it made easy work of doing this and getting a bunch of different leaves and I used a lot of scraps so, um, this is what we're going to create. Um, really cute. And we're just building a cluster. The only thing I didn't do was I already inked everything except for this because I wanted to show you guys how I inked up the barrel. Um, and I just take my brown ink and I start by going around the edges because this one is a barrel, a crate, and it should have more definition. Um, so then I just turn my dauber on the side. And I go down like this. And pretty much color it in. You could do the same thing with markers. This is just an easy way. Because I'm a lazy crafter. And then I did the same thing on the middle where I'm just turning it. Um... <clears throat> excuse me and I apologize for my voice I'm sick I'm on the up end of things but it's still been rough um and I just do that on the side and fill in the little lines um I will say that for all these and these they're really thick and I actually used um some leftover chipboard that came from like a um paper pack like th like this this is the back one this one's not thick but um like the brown front cover that is uh thicker i cut them all out of this because they were brown on one side and white on the other and they these work really good and while i was doing that i was thinking man you could really make your own chipboard which never clicked in my brain um, but you totally could from all of those leftovers you use to package stuff and that comes in like whenever you order single sheet papers online and they send on the little thick, uh, cardboard in there, you could totally make your own chipboard out of stuff. So it, it does give it a good little dimension and it's really sturdy. So <coughs> now, um, all we're going to do is build a cluster. I have my pumpkins. Oh, we need to add the stems. So two of these pumpkins come with the stem. Well, one of them in the set. There's only two. 
um, in the set that I used. And I realized I need some more pumpkin dyes. <laughs> so, all right. So, we'll just do the basket first. So, pretty much all I do is I just start out and I add a little bit of glue on the back of this. So it will stay, and then I just put this down in there to make it look like it's actually setting in it. Ugh, y'all, I'm tired of being sick. <laughs> it's just starting to get nice weather outside where you could actually go out and enjoy it, and now it's time to be sick already. Okay, let's see. I don't want to put yellow next to that one. So pretty much it's just a game of playing around, um, you know, figuring out what you want where. You're building a cluster. Every single one of mine are different. Um, I kept the same basis, but they all turn out different because you have different um, leaves, different colors. You're not positioned on the exact same way. So... Um, let's see. Let's put some red ones. Let's do this big one so that it kind of fills it up. Um, let's go like this. Okay. Well, I add just a little bit of glue right here on the back of this. That's what's nice about having these fine tip glues. You can just really get it in there. I always wipe extra glue off because I don't like the sticky residue mess. Even though it dries clear, it still looks like a snail crawled across it. So I try to be mindful of that and keep it cleaned off. Um, and I use foam tape on these pumpkins. It's very low profile since we need to keep them flat for mailing. I'm having to get it out of my box because I had to put it up. From Pip getting it. <laughs> <coughs> I, I scored some new rolls on clearance at Dollar General and Pip was already sniffing the bag as soon as I walked it in the door. So I'm having to keep it locked up so he don't take it. Okay, so then after you get to this point, it's just a matter of adding, adding more here and there. Um, I can't believe I used up so many scraps pretty proud of that these ones are uh was a specialty like the corrugated look uh paper it was already colored and i have had it for a million years and i thought you know what i'm gonna run a leaf through it and see what happens and of course it still embossed a little bit of the leaf on there <coughs> excuse me um I embossed a little bit of uh, it embossed a little bit of the leaves design on there, but it also has the other design, so it's like really textured. It's it, I love it. All right, let's add in some other colors, and like I said, you're just creating a little cluster of fall. <laughs> um, maybe a yellow one. I'll do a lighter yellow. I don't want to put that there beside that. Let's see. We have some brown ones. We could lay like that because the end of this one's cut off, but it's still usable, y'all. <coughs> Excuse me. Let me get a drink. Okay. <coughs> Had me taking steroids and antibiotics, and I got a steroid shot. So I've managed to get a lot accomplished because when I take a steroid, I don't sleep. But I've been sick in the process. So um, I'm just thankful that I can actually talk again because I practically lost my voice and couldn't talk at all yesterday. I'm probably wearing it out way too much today, but I don't want to get behind on my videos. Okay. I think that's good. I like it. And you have to remember when you're building a cluster, it's easy to keep adding, adding, adding. 
I'm guilty. <laughs> but we have to remember that it has to fit in that business size envelope and you still want to try to keep it flat um, for mailing so that it doesn't cost more <coughs> and turn into the package rate. So um, you just have to be mindful. I think it's four. Um, I did have one here, but I don't know. I don't know. I think I've used them all. Um, but I think it's four inches tall. So this one's probably close, but it can always be turned sideways also. So just something to keep in mind whenever you're building clusters, because this one, there probably will be a lot of clusters built, um, just because of the fact that, um, we have to fill up a barrel or, or a buggy or whatever. So, with this one, I'm going to put this pumpkin in here to start with. I love the green warty pumpkins and, like, the light blue ones. Um, we usually go to the pumpkin patch every year, which is really fun. I like the white pumpkins, too. They're the easiest to paint because <laughs> um, we like to paint our pumpkins every year. That's what we do with the grandbabies. We still carve them and clean them out. Usually, the the babies clean them out and then um, we carve them up for them but we we always like to paint everybody gets to paint their own pumpkin so it's always fun and they last a lot longer because you're not cutting into them you don't have to worry about them getting rotten um you know what i think i'm gonna put this one here I cut this one out of some really dark purple scraps that had gold foil in it. And I really like the effect that it adds. So, and some of these wear, this one has some silver, but, um, you know, some of these were not my favorite papers. I thought they were really ugly and I didn't like them at all. But they work good whenever you're cutting them down for scraps because you're not seeing all the ugly. <laughs> I think I'm going to glue this one here. Just kind of spread them around a little bit. Let's see. I might even do another one up here. Just to bring in some of the red and fill the basket up. A little bit of glue here. So, you know, you can have so much fun doing this and just... <coughs> Excuse me. Um, <coughs> using up, using up your scraps, and then you have lots of cute little embellishment clusters to use on pages. And you can just literally, you could make a page out of this, add a title, you know, add your photo mats, and boom, it's done. It makes it so easy. Um, let's see, maybe. One of these yellow ones, light ones. Okay, let's do that, and then we'll put the pumpkin there, and then we'll call it good. Yeah, I think I like that. <clears throat> like I said, this tape is really low profile, more so than normal, so it doesn't really create much bulk at all. And then you can totally do pen work on it just to highlight your leaves if you wanted to. I'm not going to because this is a lot. Um, I'm going to do a lot of groups so that I get a bunch back. Um, so, if you want to win these that we just created, all you have to do is leave me a comment and um, tell me what is your favorite thing about fall. And I will include all these extra flowers with your clusters. So you'll get all of this if you win. So thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. Oh, and I was going to mention, if you are in Australia or New Zealand, I know that you guys are, I think, not in fall right now. Um, maybe you are going into spring. I'm not sure. But um, Miss Karen has a group um, that is specifically um, for you guys and what y'all, what seasons and um, holidays and all that stuff that you're in. And she is doing swaps on her group. 
It's called Girls Down Under. I will link it below. Definitely go over and check that out. It's only um, open to Australian or New Zealand folks. So, um, go over and tell her I sent you and say hey. And until next time, bye y'all.